The U.S. Navy is developing an unmanned submarine controlled by artificial intelligence that is intended to become an autonomous killer. The CLAWS program has been surrounded by secrecy from its inception, including its official purpose and budget. Still, resistance has been increasingly vocal, as activists worry about unprecedented autonomous lethal weaponry. This uprising has given birth to organizations such as the Campaign to Stop Killer Robots, which wish to retain human control over the use of force. But the U.S. is not alone in its intentions. China has also been developing similar warcraft, suggesting a new underwater AI arms race is currently brewing. The Future of Maritime Warfare However limited in functionality, autonomous submarines are not a new concept. Boeing has been developing the Orca submarine for the U.S. Navy for some time now. These submarines are designed to handle automated tasks and free up sailors, and are intended to replace the current autonomous submarines at some point. Four Orca extra-large unmanned undersea vehicles are being planned for design and testing during the next few years. They'll be based on the autonomous Echo Voyager, a boat that can operate for months. The U.S. Navy stated that, quote, the Orca will have well-defined interfaces for the potential of implementing cost-effective upgrades in future increments to leverage advances in technology and respond to threat changes. Meanwhile, the CLAWS system was first revealed in 2018 with the purpose of improving the survivability of unmanned underwater vehicles, but weapon capability was not mentioned until recently. It's believed that it could be tested and deployed with the upcoming Orca class of computerized submarines. Details about the Slayer submersible were revealed in a 2020 budget document uncovered by New Scientist. The report included notions about using sensors and algorithms that could enable the device to carry out complex programmed missions. Still, secrecy has constantly enveloped the CLAWS program. The Navy has not officially disclosed the actual purpose or budget of the project. But according to the documents, CLAWS was allocated $26 million in 2020 and another $23 million the following year. These funds will be used to design a working prototype. Furthermore, China was expected to have deployed similar technology by the end of 2020. A report from the Daily Mail claims that Chinese submarines would need authorization from a commanding officer to attack. There's also a concern that the United States may already be behind the Asian superpower, and perhaps even Russia. The Americans are not expected to have the new technology ready before 2022, although a prototype is currently in development. An anonymous internal source expressed that, quote, Like it or not, this is going to be the future of maritime warfare, and it is better for America to be ahead of the game instead of behind the eight ball. Not science fiction. The CLAWS program is led by the Office of Naval Research. This organization is responsible for the science and technology programs of the Navy and Marine Corps. The documents uncovered by New Scientist stated that the, quote, autonomous unmanned undersea weapon system could be installed on robotic submarines such as the Orcas. The article added that, quote, it will clandestinely extend the reach of larger UUVs, unmanned underwater vehicles, and increase the mission areas into kinetic effects. The submarines are projected to be armed with 12 torpedo tubes controlled by the CLAWS system without human involvement. University of California's computer science professor Stuart Russell told new scientists that, quote, equipping a fully autonomous vehicle with lethal weapons is a significant step, and one that risks accidental escalation in a way that does not apply to sea mines. Russell regards the CLAWS system as a dangerous development. Implications As the upgraded submarines are meant to be unmanned and rely on artificial intelligence, Concerns have arisen about potential problems stemming from the unpredictability of the new technology. Moreover, several experts have raised their voices about the ethical implications derived from letting a machine take human lives on its own. But the technology is already here, and someone is probably going to use it. Global concern about lethal autonomous weapons has led to the creation of organizations such as the Campaign to Stop Killer Robots, which is supported by tech superpowers such as Tesla's Elon Musk, 
and alphabets Mustafa Suleiman. Even Germany's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Heiko Maas, has urged states to, quote, ban fully autonomous weapons before it's too late. Please like this video and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels for more content on technological and military advances. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released, and leave a comment below on your thoughts about automated warfare.